to study the conservation of energy of a ball rolling down on an inclined plane using a double inclined plane the energy possessed by a body due to its motion is called its kinetic energy the energy possessed by a body due to its position or configuration is called its potential energy ma'am what is conservation of energy under conservative forces the mechanical energy that is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy of any body remains conserved when the body is at the top of an inclined plane it possesses only potential energy and as it starts rolling down on the inclined plane its potential energy gradually converts into kinetic energy let's do an experiment to study the conservation of energy of a ball rolling down on an inclined plane using a double inclined plane our aim here is to study the conservation of energy of a ball rolling down on an inclined plane using a double inclined plane the materials required are a double inclined plane track a steel ball of diameter about 10 cm two wooden blocks each of length 2.5 cm two weights of 1 kg each stopwatch plumb line meter scale and spirit level procedure set the laboratory table with its top horizontal using spirit level place the double inclined plane on the table top and make it stable by placing place 1 kg weight on its wings insert a wooden block under each track to make it inclined now place the steel ball on the first inclined plane at position d and leave it gently when the steel ball reaches at the highest point c of the second inclined plane note its position measure the vertical heights of positions d and c using a plumb line and meter scale repeat steps 4 to 6 by changing position of point d on first inclined plane observations position of mark d on first inclined plane c on second inclined plane vertical height off position d h1 off position c h2 difference h1 minus h2 centimeter result the observation table shows that the difference between the vertical heights of two points on two inclined planes is very small it concludes that the body has same initial and final potential energy though the potential energy converts into kinetic energy this shows that the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy of the body remains conserved this verifies the law of conservation thank you ma'am we have understood the experiment very well